there, everybody. Matt O'Ree back here with you. Once again, welcome back to Mob on TV. We're back with the gear tutorial. This is episode number three, season number two. I know you guys had a good time with the last episode, and I'm glad you did because it was a lot of frustration for me. But a lot of you guys out there really commented on my R8 and how much it sounds, well, it's the closest sounding to the original Danger Burst that I own. And when I first laid eyes on that guitar in 2002, I just had to have it. And on a credit card it went, and I think I just, maybe I just paid it off <laughs> after all these years. So let's jump into it. We're, we're back with more Danger Burst, and of course we're into the EL84 power tube. So the EL84 power tube came in an amplifier called the Vox AC30, and the Beatles made this amp infamous. Not long after that, we had Brian May from Queen, who took those tones into the stratosphere. What an unbelievable guitar sound. The cool thing about the EL84 is the chime that it, that it can generate in the high end of the amplifier. So it's not a harsh sounding high end, but yet all the chime and sparkle that this thing can do. So Ken Fisher designed something called the Liverpool Trainwreck. It's an EL84 based power section and in the preamp it's 312 AX7s and it's solid state rectified. This is really similar to the Express where it has the gain on tap when you crank up the amp, but it has a whole other dimension of that chime, that clarity, and the touch response of this amp is really to die for. So now we're going to put this with the Danger Burst, which we already know is crazy touch responsive. And with the pots in that guitar, we're going to see what this thing can do. This episode's a short one because we're only talking about the Danger Burst and Liverpool, and it's only one performance that we have to look at. So let's get to it. Let's check this out. <laughs> So what'd you think? Like I said, the EL84 has such chime and clarity in the high end that it's really euphoric. But yet it still has the gain of the Express, but in a different way. Different power tube, different tones. And you can really hear it when I ramp up on the volume knob of how responsive and touch responsive the amp is, especially with the Danger Burst driving it. it makes the Danger Burst almost sound more like a Fender than we've heard yet to date. And of course that has something to do with the amp too and the guitar. What a beautiful, beautiful sounding combination, that guitar and the Liverpool. So that's going to do it for us today. I know it's a short episode, but guess what? I've got a huge announcement to make on this video and I hope you're still watching at this point because this is, this is massive. 
Next week's episode, I had a chance to record and play through the original rocket that Ken Fisher made, the very first one known as Reality Check. Her real name is Betty Lou and she's a 1990 build. This is the very first rocket that Ken ever made and uh, there's a reason why it's called Reality Check. So stay tuned, next week's gonna be the Danger Burst through Reality Check and we're also gonna compare that to my rocket named Vivian. It's going to be a hell of an episode. You do not want to miss this. We'll see you next week.